I was checking doors in an old section of the hospital that wasn't used anymore, and I was walking down a hallway near the old chapel. And as as you're walking down the hallway, you can at an angle see into the chapel because it's a little alcove. Uh, but it, there's a little hallway, and then it turns and goes into the chapel. And as I'm like glancing in there, I see an old man looks like he's probably in his 70s or 80s in a full like dark colored suit in the back pew of the of the chapel with his head down like he's praying. And I thought, well, that's odd. I checked the door, turned back, and walked down that little hallway and entered the chapel, and he was gone. There was, there was no other exit. There were no closets or anything that he could have hidden in. There, he was not, wasn't under any of the pews because I checked it. He wasn't under the pulpit because I checked that. There was literally nowhere he could have gone without, you know, l running right past me. Uh, there was no place he could have gone and nowhere, you know, no way he could have gone out a window because there weren't any. Uh, it was just a little alcove chapel in this old hospital. Uh, and when I started making my rounds, I, you know, I thought, oh, crap, that was freaking weird. And as I'm making my rounds and exiting in the main lobby of that old section of the hospital, there's this gigantic painting of the founder of the hospital. Oh. And I looked at him and went, that was who I just saw. No, oh, freaking get out. I kid you not. <laughs> that would end it. I'd be, well, maybe, it, you know, what? Trust me, that didn't go says, in the report, though. Oh, no, no. <laughs>